Taurus, Gemini, to your June in month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit this big old like button and subscribe. Okay, getting straight in here. Let's see what's going on with you, my friends, using the Akashic cards once again. Best messages coming out. Tell the spirit what is going on. In this beautiful end month. End month please. Oh, there it is. Ooh, having the, the winged messenger in reverse. Uh, this is talking about a little bit of conflict where it's almost like, hmm, why are you causing conflict? What conflict is coming towards me? Why am I having this? Um, yes, with the scribe over here saying that there's something that needs to be looked at, some kind of text, some kind of proposal, something that's going on where it's causing a little bit of um, conflict where it's going to grab your discernment and you're going to be looking this out, you know, and looking at everything going, why, 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 why is this happening now, right? Um, and this is because of the Ark of the Covenant. So there definitely could be some kind of contract or something that's coming up, whether it's a text or a contract or um, a proposal, something that's going on, some legal document, something that's going on where you're definitely going to have to look and see why this is happening and where the conflict is lying within the situation. Definitely being on the lookout for the situation. So definitely, and it could definitely do with your money. Um, coming to the King of Keys. King of Keys is talking about finances. So it could be a place at work, like I said, some kind of document, something going on, a lease within a, a, a rental home, something, you really, maybe a car. Um, but, but really watch those things, guys, or just a text coming in where it feels like someone wants to argue with you about some kind of situation, but it's kind of causing a little bit of chaos just out of the blue, right? It's really out of the blue. Um, and you could even say, for a lot of you, that wasn't in the document. Why are you bringing that up, right? That wasn't the way it was supposed to be. So really watch for those types of things at this time of the month, guys. Okay, really be on the lookout for those things because it does feel like that's what's popping up. could be around the, you know, the end. Well, it's going to definitely be around the end of the month. But it definitely could be taking place um, around maybe the 20th or so. I have the 17th over here on the lookout. So it could be around the 17th never know, right? Which means you guys could have already started seeing this happening, right? Because this, this video is up before that, um, or after that, excuse me. <clears throat> so let's see, we got the foundations of achievement. So it's saying, yes, I thought this was going to be the blessing. I thought everything was working out okay. I thought we had the firm foundations. I thought we had this worked out to the agreement that it was supposed to be. And you're finding that that's not exactly the way it's going right? With the Ark of the Government, it's talking about represents the beneficial legal contract or title transfer. Okay, can it also show that, you know what, there was a success. There can be a success. There should be a success. And that's what you're saying. I don't understand. So Spirit says it's time to just rest and rejuvenate so that you can understand the mundaneness of what's going on within the situation. Time to really dig deep within the situation. Do not allow it to confuse you or let them confuse you. Um, it could even be that someone dropped the ball over here, right? And you're picking up the broken pieces uh, when it comes to the situation. But it does look like it could be helpful. And wow, 17 on top of 17. How auspicious is that, right? And then you have four of four. What the... Okay. Wow. Okay. So definitely, I do feel like Spirit is trying to get your attention over here when it comes to this situation because they want you to have victory when it comes to this situation to get that that uh, chariot moving and have that victory. It does feel like it, it's going to be achieved. It's going to work out in your in your favor, but it does look like someone got a lot of sevens too. That someone is really trying to upset the situation, get away with something that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, we also have the card over here where it's like, you know what, you're tossing it right under the rug, saying, you know, trying to sweep something under the rug. Don't worry about that. I got that. No, 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 we can't do that because that's going to cause a huge upsetness. 
right? No, we need to have the coming together. We need to, you know, patiently build this back up, put the pieces back together where it's supposed to be. I do feel like for some of you, this is really about dropping the ball on something, right? Because we have third party situation over here when it's talking about this is like the contract view in someone. Um, there could be a, a rejoice and celebration, right? But right now you just really need to get in there and really figure out what it is that's going on when it comes to this and do not allow it to upset you, right? Because this definitely can be worked out. It just feels like they're not really trying um, to fix it the way it's supposed to be fixed, which really hurts you in the end. Oh, uh, maybe they're too lazy to want to <laughs> take care of the situation. Maybe that's it. Too lazy to want to look at the document the right way. Too lazy to, yeah, I got confusion. Inner clarity causing confusion. So watch that. Yeah, you're going to have to have the determination to want to change the situation and do not allow them to accept this as it's just an acceptance. You guys are going to have to dig deep within the situation to make sure that this setback, that this upheaval does not carry on right in their favor. Because I do feel like it's somebody who's being a bit lazy about the situation or says, oh, you know, it's okay because I don't want, yeah, no matter what, that's still, still being lazy. Because then they would say, no, no, no. I see where you put it over here, but I don't want to have to rewrite that paper. What? I don't want to have to redo that document. I don't want to have to re-put that title in your name. So we'll just put it here and then put your little X over here. What? That's not how it works. Hmm. So definitely be careful of that because, the, yeah, it feels like, yeah, like they're in their comfort zone. Where they're in their comfort zone, it's causing you anxiety and, and you know, and, and sleepless nights because they want to stay comfortable. They don't want to have to do the extra works. And that's very, yes, very unfair. So there is definitely this unfairness that's going on. And it's out of, yeah, of their disregard towards the situation. Okay. But it does look like it can be worked out. It says that as long as you keep the faith and you keep everything going the way it's supposed to be going, make them get up. Make them do what they're supposed to be doing. Do not, you know, back down to them because you know you're right within the situation. Then you can have this completed because they're trying to make something that could be easily taken care of. You know, see what I'm saying? Done and over with, but they want to procrastinate. They want to fence it. They want to, you know, like I said, it's... I, I just want to feel like it's very lazy of them not to want to do something about that. Okay, so, yeah, if anything, they're just, you know, it might feel like you're getting a little impatient over here because of their recklessness and inconsistencies, putting on extra burdens for you. So let's get some spirit cards and see what spirit has to say about this situation. Best message coming out. Message, please. I'm um, spirit says, yeah, reconsider what's going on within the situation. Yes, this can be taken care of, but it's going to come to having some kind of compromise when it comes to this person, right? So definitely going to have to deal with them in the right way so that you can have the justice since right now it doesn't feel very justified because it says the situation will improve, right? It's just you're just going to have to, yes, get more information from them, from other people around them. Okay, and it looks like everything will work out. You just don't let them slack anymore. <laughs> yeah, don't let them slack. Keep on their butt, right, about the situation. That way they don't, it's almost like you have no place to run and no place to hide, right? I'm there, I'm texting, I'm there. I'm at your, hey, now I should have your work. How about that? We're not on the phone anymore. Now I'm at your, your place of work if that's what the situation is, right? Telling you how to get this done. Oh my goodness. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.